Hey there, what's going on? It's Lisa here, Raw Food for Kids. And uh, I'm continuing prepping it. Been prepping all day a little bit. Not all day, but uh, just for the last hour. And just uh, wanted to throw some videos out as I as I go along uh, making stuff so that you can you can do it yourself. So you can see exactly what I'm doing with the ingredients that I bought and uh, make some tasty food. And this is really, really good to do food prep. You know, Sunday is a great day for the, the week because usually people have off to just, you know, spend an hour or two and just get things ready to go for the work week. Um, it just makes things quick and easy. It makes you stay on track and it just saves time and it saves money as well. So, um, and when I did my food haul, I'm, I forgot I had two bags of uh, frozen pineapple in my freezer that I forgot to pull out. So that's included in the 25 bucks because I'm making my kale salad. From Trader Joe's, I bought two one-pound bags of frozen pineapple. And um, right now I'm going to make a um, kale pineapple salad. It's just these two ingredients. I actually make this salad all the time. I almost eat it every single day with kale, pineapple, and tomato. Um, I didn't get a tomato, but the pineapple is really what makes the kale salad taste phenomenal. Um, kale is just nutrient rich. I mean, it's very, very affordable. You can get it in the local farmer's market. Um, very hearty so you can make a salad like this ahead of time and it's not going to wilt. It's great to bring along on the go, or pack ahead of time for lunch. And um, it's just so, so good for you. The pineapple is going to help kind of tenderize it, give it a nice sweetness and act as the dressing. And I'm telling you, give this a try. It is so good. So I've got in here, so I have my whole bag of kale that I got, and I used about, I don't know, three-fourths of it. I didn't quite use half, because I might use some for like in the dinner or something, or some soups. Um, and I've got two bags of this pineapple, but I actually, looking at it now, I think I'm going to hold on to some. And... Um, I have some left during the week. I might make a little smoothie or something with it or do something with it. So um, I'm going to drain out most of the juice because the juice is so good. I'm going to put in like three-fourths of this bag. I'm just going to hang tight. I'm making enough salad here for like two people for about, I'm going to shoot for three days. It might be like two, I might have to add a little bit. For the third day if I need to. But all you want to do is just take your hands and massage the pineapple in with the kale. Usually when I make this like day by day I um, really chop up the kale fine because I just find that it's easier to eat. But in this situation since I'm making it for like at least two days um, ahead of time um, I'm keeping it kind of a little chunky but you can take your hands and kind of break it up. Um, this way it just will hold together a little better. And it's really as easy as this. I'm just kind of massaging that pineapple right in with that kale. I mean, look at this. It's tons of pineapple for the kale. Uh, so you get that sweet, kind of chewy, you know. It just, it's so good. It really is. So that's that. That's the salad. I am going to, um, like I said, I'll just kind of put this in the fridge and portion out. Um, salad for the two of us for at least the next two days and uh, the next thing on my list is I think I'm going to make like a lentil soup so uh, lunch will be like a soup and salad um, so stay tuned for that but make sure you make this kale recipe um, if you got it in your budget you got it in your house a little tomato a little fresh diced tomato in here is just killer but um, yeah I forgot about my pineapple so isn't that awesome that's a lot of food I got for 25 bucks and um, yeah, I just been prepping up some um, some beans, some lentils. I'm making some rice. I'm prepping some cabbage, uh, some of the vegetables, and I'll show you all that. I'm gonna do a separate video after I have everything kind of prepped up, so you can um, see you know see how that looks like and what I plan on doing with that as well. So, anyways, um, stay tuned to the next video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and I am saving this to a playlist. So you can go back and review any videos that uh, you might have missed. Because I know I'm just kind of banging them out um, as I do it. But I just think it's important that you know what to do with the food. Because I could just show you this costs this much money. But the idea is that I can teach you what to do with it. And, um, and so the next time you're in the store, you can say, oh, 
I got a recipe. I can I can work with this, or I know what to do with these few random things in the house. So that's the point of these videos, guys. You can eat well. It doesn't have to cost much. So stay tuned for the next video. Remember, always eat happy foods. Take care.